Okay, I confess, I have a problem. So here I am, you know, writing, sketching, drawing, and I realized I'm not perfect. I had to use the eraser on the back of this pencil. Ah, so annoying. So I did a little research because I was racing so much. I stumbled upon this young man right here. A little uh, electronic spinning eraser. You hold down the button, get a little spinach, and it erases. But there's some drawbacks, okay? First of all, this dude's huge, big and bulky. Second of all, you have to carry two devices. Come on. Third of all, it's pretty weak, okay? You hold down the button, uh, it's falling out really easily. So that's when I came up with the idea for this project. I thought there's a problem that needs to be solved, right? I wanted to build a pencil that combines the best of both worlds. So we're gonna have a motorized eraser built into the back of a pencil. I'm super pumped about this. So why don't we just stop talking and let's go build it. The first step in a design is a sketch. This is gonna be a section view of the pencil so you can see the internals. On the right hand side here, we've got the bearing housing. So that holds a bearing so that our eraser can spin around freely in its little holder. Next on top there, we've got the switch. And below that, we've got the adapter coupling. That's what connects the motor to the eraser. In the middle there, that's the battery, rechargeable battery. And to the right of that is the motor or, you know, the main show. All right, let's go build this bad boy. What follows is a brief construction montage. There's 13,000 for this guy. Okay, let's get the heavy hitter in here. The main, the main event. Uh, can we see that? <laughs> Finally done with the Erasomatic. Uh, took far longer than I thought, but uh, why don't we uh, try it out? Oh my. from the damage chewed through that pencil or that eraser crazy crazy fast so not practical but uh, quite hilarious so what would I redo so this is a little bit exposed I think I would make something a little bit more clean looking but you know there's not a lot of real estate on this pencil um, battery charging 
I think I would redesign this to have another connector in parallel sticking out of this surface here. So you could easily just plug in and you wouldn't have to take off this guy right here. Um, oh, I had an idea that would be cool to do later on. I wanted to make some different attachments for this. So we've got the eraser here, but with this motor, how strong it is, I thought it'd be fun to make some, some silly different attachments that are totally impractical to put on here. So maybe that could be in a future episode. That would be pretty fun, right? So let's draw a line here. I can't even, I can't even do this. Draw, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna draw a freehand line. Okay, boom, there's a line and there's a line. Two equal lines, same pencil. We're gonna start off with, we call this guy, Slow Joe. Not his real name, but you know. Let's see how long it takes. All right, so. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Bogging down a little bit, Joe. All right. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't time that, but we'll look at it on the camera, okay. Now, in the corner over here, heavyweight Bill. No, no, we'll call him Heavyweight Hank. That sounds a little better. Okay, so it's a fresh pencil. It's cut, it's got a sharp corner, or eraser, that's what I said, right? Okay. Boomtown! Oh, crap. Okay. I think we have a clear winner here, folks. A clear winner. You know, I actually want to do that again, and I was getting, like, little particles in my face. Look how quickly that dude rounded off. Thanks for coming by to check out my first video. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time, so I'm glad you're here. Um, I had a lot of fun with this project, and I'm really looking forward to doing some more projects to share with you. So if you don't mind, thumbs up, subscribe, and come check out my future videos. Thanks, bye.